They, this way it looks like a good band to just pee. But at least this way. Not a lot of yeah. But you're like, hey. It's in a mountain and a mansion with a big picture of Teddy Roosevelt on the wall and the moose on the other side. You walk in, you open up and go take a whiff. <sighs> That's probably how that lift tastes. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today we have the Cornelius 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 Cornelius, Cornelius Anthony. And this one is Mistress. It's a Robusto size. Robusto size. Uh it's 5 by 52. And the wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. Binder is United States. And um Filler is Pennsylvania. But it doesn't tell me more information other than that. And this is made in Nicaragua. So, like, I don't know what I tried to do. The feeling of the cigar feels like orange peel. <laughs> orange skin or something like that. It's kind of weird. We'll see. So, this is supposed to be a more limited release for this particular brand. They come in four sizes. They have uh, a Gorda, a Conora Gorda, a Toro, and a Gordo, and obviously this Robusto size. So I actually like this size. All, all the sizes that they listed is my usual size. I like this size. <clears throat> yeah, and according to the information, they're saying that this is supposed to be uh, part of a portfolio that has the Gents and the Mistress. So. If you want there, I'll find the gents. I'll smoke that one too. Let's cut in light. I'm surprised the allergy haven't killed me yet. Allergy should have killed me already. <laughs> the dry is super good. Light it up. The taste of the dry is basically just cedar. Like nothing really crazy. Maybe a little bit mineral. Toast the entire thing. Much better. All right. So. Ooh, it's very, very mineral. Very, very mineral. Like that rock metallic taste. And then you get a little bit of cedar. You get earthiness. You get this. Leathery pepper. Leathery pepper. It tastes leathery, but it's spicy. So leathery pepper. That tastes like tobacco. It's like when you smell tobacco before the cedar. You know, if you never know, like know what tobacco tastes like, go find a cologne that has tobacco as one of the notes. And you'll be able to smell the difference. So smell one with tobacco and smell one without. You'll know what I'm talking about. There is a flavor tobacco. Yep. It tastes. It says mistress, but it tastes kind of manly. It tastes like a man's cologne or something. Yeah. It's got a lot of depth to it. It's got a lot of. Hey. To it, you know. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Not a lot of yeah, but a lot. Hey. Yeah. 
It does kind of taste kind of strong though. Like I think this is full strength. Medium plus or full strength has that taste to it. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about when it comes to what it tastes like and the body of it and the strength, listen to one of our cat podcasts. We definitely have something there uh, for you explained. I better slow down on this one. Let me get one third and I'll be right back. <laughs> one third. Yeah, it's definitely a full strain. At the same time, full body. Because that flavor is, like I say, it's like a cologne. And it has a lot of wood base, mineral, and earthness. Like it's a lot of those base notes. Right? Like as if you bought a cologne, you read the list of notes. They are like the base notes. So like every time you smoke it, it's base notes. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of that spice that worked its way to your throat. Kind of itchy your throat a little bit. But yeah, this cigar is... I don't know why it's called Mistress. It's for the guys. It's not a feminine flavor. It's not a feminine thing. It's strong. So like, I'm smoking it really, really slow. But it burns relatively fast too. So I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not a cigar that I usually get. I don't know why I have one. Um, but it's a, it's a strong cigar. Um, despite of the, the, how it looks, it's nowhere menacing. Nowhere, you know, to tell you, I'm, I'm a strong cigar. You know, you smoke it, you're like, ooh, that's very, very deep tone. Like, earthy, mineral, like, uh, a, a little bit. It's almost like if you go to a, a cave. A cave, um, a man cave, not a man cave. Place in a mountain and a mansion with a big picture of Teddy Roosevelt on the wall and the moose on the other side. You walk in, you open up, and go take a whiff. <sighs> That's probably how that would taste like. So that's like that. But I don't know. I, I, I guess you can't hide a mistress there. If you have one of those. Yeah. Let me get to the second third. And we'll see if any transitions. Because this thing is just. It's just that. It's, it's, I feel like I'm smoking a cologne at the same time. I'm hoping for some transition. I'm hoping for some blind spots. I'm hoping for some something different. Than just this strong body note. Um, of manliness, if that makes any sense, of manliness. All right, be right back. I smoked a little bit past two there. Hopefully that the taste kind of changes, but it didn't. Um, really, it got a little bit lighter, and the, because it got lighter in that mineral or earthiness, wood wood tone started to come out a little bit and disappears. So like no matter how much I go, it's the same thing, you know. Now I'm on the last third. Um, I don't think it's gonna change. I really don't. That's gonna. I don't think it's gonna change. The strain's still the same. So, but let's take a look at this uh, particular band, which is funny because I feel like you can you can look at it this way too, right? This way it looks like a good band too, just pee, but it's this way. Very standard, very like not crazy band. Of course, they also have this uh, mistress band. So it's like a universal, right? Universal design. We put a, a regular band on top and then tell you what cigar that is. Very standard. I mean, nothing crazy, even though it's a limited production kind of thing. They're not going, they didn't go out of their way to make something that looks out of this world. In fact, it looks like a, a cigar that would, they will produce every single day. So I, I think that that's one of the downfall where the attract attractiveness did not match the rarity or something like that because they tried to make it limited. So it's unfortunate. But and at the same time, it's because the, the look is so like understated that you didn't think it's a strong cigar. Unless you smoke it, you're like, oh, that's pretty strong. Right. So 
Yeah, it's unfortunate that it didn't go where it's supposed to go. And the cigar itself didn't have a lot of changes or transitions. It's pretty much the same. Um, it does have a little bit of uh, staying lit problem. It doesn't like to stay lit if I just let it sit there for like, a, you know, 30 seconds, a minute. So that's the downfall of this cigar is that it's not, it doesn't like to be smoked. If that's correct, it doesn't like to be smoked. So. Flavor didn't change. It's the same note. It's the same note. But yeah, let me finish up and we'll go back to uh, summary. Be right back. Okay, last little bit. Let me just tell you, nothing changed. The entire cigar tastes the same. Nothing changed. So they're asking for eight fifty for this cigar, right? Eight dollar fifty cents, which comes to a regular cigar price range. So yeah, it's eight fifty. It's eight fifty, especially if you like that kind of flavor and if you like full strength cigar, then yeah, you can have that. That that's definitely normal cigar price range at a normal cigar expectation. Nothing changed. Not too much um, transitions. Pretty much it. Full strength. Medium to full body. Okay, so if you like deep, earthy, metallic flavor, mineral flavor, then yeah, that's that's what it is. But if you don't, you have a full cigar that I had to work through. For me, I don't particularly like that flavor that much. For me, it feels like forever because I just smoke slower uh, because it was a full strength cigar. There you go. Now, I haven't seen a lot of this cigar brand going around. I don't know if it's still there. But for a standard priced everyday cigar, I can see where that goes. I'm not sure why they make this um, a limited production. I can see why though, because not everybody want to smoke a full strength cigar with no transition. Like, you know, the whole thing is just strength. Mm not much changes, nothing going on, then yeah. Yeah, I can see that. But you know, again, this is that very standard, normal price range cigar. You know, if you really think about it, it's a $4.25 uh, $4 cigar that got Keystone to eight fifty. So you can't expect too much. And because you can't expect too much, I understand why it's eight fifty. But when I go buy it again, I will. I will. In fact, I don't even think I bought this one. I literally don't remember who sent it to me. So, what I would recommend to people who like full string cigar, just give it one try and see if you like it. If you don't, move on. A fifty is not a good, not a bad price, not a very hefty price to try out a cigar. And this, you know, cigar is all about that, right? You try out a cigar that you feel uh, the palette or the string might might match your liking, and then you'll be fine. Wow. What? I just saw something really cool. But anyways, so... I think this cigar, I'll be happier at $6. But even at $6, I wouldn't buy another one. It's not a bad cigar. It's just not my liking. A50. All right, so that's it for this cigar review. If you like it, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. And if you don't, well, I don't like this cigar that much either. So, yeah, uh, I need to review a cigar that I should. Maybe soon, maybe soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.